Hi there, so today I've come to talk about planting your uh, spring potatoes um, and just to show you that even if you haven't got a garden or an allotment you can still grow some potatoes. Um, just let me talk a little bit about what we've got and what we sell. Um, there are different packets here. We have this big uh, potato packet, like a little sack, quite a lot in. They're more like if you're going to grow them in an allotment or a large garden those. If you just want a few potatoes, we've got these smaller packets here. We've got about probably 10 in those. Um, these come sort of colour coded. These are um, your first earlies in this blue packet. These are what you would know as a um, nice salad potato, a little new potato. Uh, these ones are great for uh, salad and for boiling. They are good for mash, chip or roast as well not any good for baking, they won't get that big. These are the ones that are more likely to be grown in a container because you haven't got to wait for so long and you haven't got to keep watering them over the summer so much because they'll be ready sooner. We've got <coughs> these ones here which are your second early potatoes. So they'll come up a little bit later, they'll grow a little bit bigger. Um, so you, these are sort of for different things or actually this one you can do as a salad potato, boil, mash chip or roast but if you wanted to do the mash chip and roast you'd leave that for a little bit longer than you would this one and then here we have our main crop we've got king edward here they're in the green packet these are more um, for much later potatoes um, you can use these for jackets later on in the year you can also um, keep some of these through the winter and store them and have jacket potatoes later on so these ones obviously are in the garden for a lot, lot longer. Um, if you were to grow them in these sort of packets and boxes and tubs and things, um, you'd have to do a lot of watering over the summer to really get them to swell and make a lot of potatoes. So if you are going to do them in a pot, you are better off with some nice early salad potatoes. We've also got these different varieties in the red packet, which are just a little bit unusual potatoes, these. A little bit different, this one's Rudolph, which is really red as you can see. Um, and that's uh, just a sweet flavour with a creamy texture. This uh, does a bake, mash, chip and a roast. These are the sort of, just a little bit different ones. <clears throat> so we've got some packets that uh, you can grow your seed potatoes in. And we've got this Hessian one, um, that makes like a round sack and that's got an opening there so you can open up your sack and get your potatoes out. I'm going to use this one. This is a packet of two potato planters, uh, just a green tub there. Um, it's similar to this one, it's got the uh, opening in it so you can get your potatoes out easily. Now firstly, before you actually um, grow your potatoes, you need to get them to chit <laughs> and uh, I'm going to tell you what that is really and how to do that. So when you get your seed potatoes, <coughs> get them out of the packet. <coughs> now what you find they're probably doing or they may not be doing is they've, they've got this little shoot coming up. They should have quite a lot of them like they're coming out of where the eyes are you know when you cook your potatoes and you've got eyes all over it so this packet I've chosen because it's got a few chips but really these chips they really need to be bigger so what you would do is get them home and just uh, put them on a seed tray this one's a little bit big or an egg box an egg box is a brilliant idea because you need to just sit them somewhere airy really like that um, so they've got a lot of air and space around them and then you'll get lots and lots of shoots and chips on them. And once they're about that long then you can plant them. Now I'm going to plant these anyway, they will be okay but if you can wait the better. They really need to be a bit about that long. That's quite a nice long one but if you leave them longer they'll get more around here as well so you'll get lots of shoots and lots of growth. Okay, um, so I'm going to use this one, this potato planter. 
Now what I've done, this one, it's rigid here. It's got a plastic thing that you can push through quite easily. I'm nearly there, not quite. And that keeps that rigid for you. Now I've filled it, well not filled it, I've put in the bottom up to about there, that much soil. And that's where you're gonna plant your potatoes. So firstly, you, you probably won't need too many in one of these. You probably only need perhaps about five potatoes. So this bag, is, it's got about 10 in it. And that, those two sacks, you do a bag like this. So it doesn't really matter which way up you put it because it's going to have shoots all the way round by the time you've left it for a, for a few weeks. And I'm just going to literally, if you can see that, just pop that in the soil. What I'll do is just space them out. <clears throat> space them out like so and then just dig a little hole with my hands and put them in. They don't have to go too deep. So they're all underneath the soil there. Now this bag just needs to go somewhere warm out of the frost and just leave it and keep your eye on it, keep looking and you'll see some shoots come up so they'll start to shoot. Now when they've started going up to maybe about two, three inches tall, then you get your compost. I'm using um, just a grow bag, a vegetable grow bag is ideal. And uh, what you do, get your compost, fill up around your potatoes and right up the stem until you've just got a little couple of leaves showing, just two tiny leaves showing. And then you let them grow again, and then you fill them up. And then you let them grow again until they're right up to the top of this bag. Once they're up to the top of the bag, and the soil's right up to the top of the bag, then your potatoes can grow. And then you just leave them like that until they've sort of flowered, if it's an older variety, or a little bit earlier. But what you can do is open your little side bits, have a poke around, see what your potatoes are doing, see how big they've got and how many you can see. So each of those little potatoes is going to make loads of potatoes because you let it shoot loads of shoots. So that's how you do it. And just make sure you keep them out of the frost because they won't like it cold. If it's dry, keep them well watered. You won't need to feed them or anything if you buy one of these vegetable bags to put everything in that you need. So happy potato growing!